Well, why play any more of the regular season? We played three weeks. There's no need. We, we know who the two best teams are. And as it turns out, one is in the NFC, one is in the AFC. And it's, That's weird. It's not just this. <laughs> so they can play in the Super Bowl. And my Lord, I mean, we had actually people telling us they thought we were bringing up a, a phony topic on the show on <laughs> Tuesday. ESPN spent a chunk of their show talking about it. Herm Edwards, we had on. You can listen to the podcast uh, on the Bob and Gras page. Talked about it as well. Chris Carter, Steve Young. Three weeks in... It does kind of look like Seahawks Broncos. Yeah, and that's on the heels of the demolition of the Jags, obviously, a team they were supposed to beat up on. And then the Broncos beat up on a team they were supposed to beat up on in the Raiders last night. And Peyton Manning looks as good as he's ever looked. Mm -hmm. In fact, through the most touchdowns through three games to start the season uh, than anybody in the history of this league. with zero picks. I mean, so... Yeah, it's, after three weeks, these look to be the two best teams, and you look at the fact that they matched up in preseason. Now, we had people also texting in as much as they thought we manufactured the conversation, pointing out, well, the Seahawks beat them in preseason. So, um, all right, if you're going to put any stock into the fact that they met each other and the outcome of that was somehow going to dictate what the outcome would be in the Super Bowl, then you have to acknowledge the fact that Peyton Manning moved up and down the field during that game. He was like 13 of 16 for 100 and whatever yards and a touchdown pass. So you and I are on the same page. We don't put anything into a preseason Nothing. matchup. But you can't have it both ways. If you're going to put it into the wind, then you need to put stock into that. And it does provide a compelling thought of this defense that looks as good as it's ever looked against a Peyton Manning-led offense with Peyton Manning looking as good as he's ever looked. It's an intriguing matchup if it were to happen. It would I mean, be a lot of fun. How ironic is it that, that you'd be, as much as we talk about it, there would not be nearly as much talked about with Russell Wilson and uh, Marshawn Lynch going against that Denver defense. Right. You know, it would, it would really absolutely be Peyton Manning versus the Seahawks defense. You know, Denver's got a few things in common with the Seahawks as well. They're getting Von Miller back. They're getting, making a very big, uh, getting a very big piece of the puzzle uh, back during the season to kind of give them an extra boost. But as we talked about today a little bit, you know, there are still a few teams uh, that you shouldn't be sleeping on. Not just the ones that have come out a little disappointing, the Niners at 1-2, and two, the Falcons at 1-2, and two, the Packers at 1-2, and two, mm -hmm. who all look like they're going to be fine, I think, at the end of the day. But the Saints, you know, we mm -hmm. talked about them as, as a team that, that looks strong. Somehow the Patriots, despite Tom Brady throwing to guys like me, are 3-0. I mean, they're, they're winning, so nothing is etched in stone, certainly, this early in the season. No, I mean, there, there are teams, some of them you pointed out with, with poor records right now that I'm not ready to write off as much as I'd love to write off the 49ers. I think that would be foolish. And then, you know, the teams you mentioned, along with the Cincinnati Bengals, a team that we all became familiar with on hard knocks, seemed like... They seem pretty good. I don't know if I'm ready to embrace them as a Super Bowl contender, but they're going to provide a lot of competition, and they're going to be a roadblock for a lot of teams in the AFC. So, so yeah, as much as the Broncos and Seahawks look like the cream of the crop, there are other teams that have a say in this, and you should be paying attention to. Yeah, if only the Super Bowl were next week, then it would be those two. Get it? Those two. Super Bowl. I get it. <laughs>